Before this video starts, I just wanted to mention guys that I'm doing a Crisis on Earth X crossover DVD or Blu-ray giveaway. All the details are in the description below so you can find out how you can actually enter. There's two, in fact, different competitions for two different DVDs. Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4 and this is going to be a short little video going over some new information as to Season 4 and also a new photo of Melissa, our first good look at Melissa in season 4. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV or Supergirl videos later this year. So we just got our first look at Melissa Benoist as Supergirl in an HD format. We've only had the trailers and to be honest, they were really really cut really quick so they were very pixelated and things like that. But this is our first great look at Melissa and oh my god, does this get me excited. Hopefully you guys are really excited because this photo is awesome, it's the pinnacle of what Supergirl is, you know, in her very Supergirl-like pose with her hands on her hips, I talked about that in yesterday's video. You know, it's just iconic for Supergirl and so... Melissa looks great as usual as Supergirl. I'm really excited for season 4, although I do have my doubts which I'll talk about in a second. I was so happy with season 3 and the way it actually went, apart from obviously mon leaving, but that is like a separate thing. I tried to put season 3 and that on a separate level because I really did enjoy season 3 a whole lot. That is it really in regards to breaking down the photo. There's not too much to actually break down. She's just in some sort of office, maybe it's Lena's office. It's just a nice photo of Supergirl girl to tease what's coming and this is actually coming from variety so also they got to talk to the executive producers and so this is where i lead into my doubts about season four and so let me read out this quote so they say this season we're telling allegorical stories about real life issues that are incredibly topical and current we want to explore how supergirl can face the challenges that many of us are facing so that she can inspire us to stand up against these types of injustices too this is where i get into my worries and this is where a lot of people were worried about season four the show supergirl is actually a sci-fi superhero alien show really that's what it is it's you know an action show it has its drama it has its cw-ness about it we love that stuff right season two was sort of more leaning into the political side season three stepped back from that and that's why a lot of people really did enjoy season three a whole lot and a lot of people's complaints because i was actually making videos back in season two so many people were complaining about how they were trying to force stuff in their face whether or not they agreed with the politics or they didn't agree and i feel like season three at least for the first part brought the fans back together because it was about Supergirl, it was about the sci-fi show, it was about Rain rather than these issues. Obviously these issues need to be tackled but the only worrying thing is are they going to lean too much into this issue tackling in Supergirl and are they going to forget about the elements that people really liked about last season and that was Rain especially, that was you know mon -El, that was the Legion of Superheroes, stuff like that, that they really enjoyed the more out of earth experiences that you can't experience in everyday life rather than telling a more grounded story like they're saying they're going to do in season four so obviously this is just not really my opinion i'm just voicing the concerns of so many people in regards to season four and our potential worries that they might step away from what made season three so good and so i can see where people's concerns are coming from i'm a little bit concerned but i'm also really excited because i love supergirl I love season 3, this photo is awesome, but I think the overall consensus in the Supergirl community is we're fine with the politics, but we want that stuff that we really enjoy, like rain, you know, the more alien stuff of the show that we aren't used to in normal life. So again, this is not me like voicing any political views or anything like that, I'm just going over the concerns of the majority of Supergirl fans out there that we really enjoyed rain and you know, the more more sort of Argo City alien stuff like I've been mentioning this entire video so that is just some people's concerns but I'm really excited for this season hopefully they actually get this really correct anyway guys I'll see you guys later goodbye